Well, the cubs are right at five weeks old now, and so they're progressing as we expect. They're gaining weight pretty much every day. They're around nine and a half to 10 pounds now. And uh, we're, we're very happy that we're able to start uh, spreading out their feeding more. So the staff that are working with them at night are getting uh, pretty much sleep. We uh, had, you know, special help from um, a, a family that is very special to Zoo Knoxville, the Clawson family, to bring um, Upepo to Zoo Knoxville. And, um, and so in that spirit, um, the Clawson family has suggested their names and we, of the cubs, and we just love the names. For the little boy is Maji, which is Swahili for water. And uh, the little female, um, the name suggested is Anga, which is Swahili for sky. And we think that that is um, wonderful and very appropriate names. They're very beautiful. They sound masculine and feminine, um, but it's really in keeping with Upepo and his name, which stands um, is wind in Swahili. Uh, so it's in keeping with his legacy and um, and really just a, a beautiful family group of names for the lions at Zoo Knoxville. They're becoming more mobile and so last week we started taking them down to the Valley of the Kings, uh, the Lion Wing, to give them a little more space in where they will eventually live. Also we're allowing them to see mom and they've seen dad a little bit and so this is just to start gauging her reaction to them, uh, their reaction to her, and just getting them used to, to their new home. When the cubs are in what we call howdy with Amara, which means it's quite larger mesh uh, and they can see each other very well. So we're watching everyone's behavior. The cubs are wanting to see, are they curious with this great big kitty cat that's in front of them and they're not sure sometimes they still know their lions yet. We're really watching mom and if we're looking at some point possibly getting them back together, we really wanna watch her behavior. And so we're looking for um, her interest. Is it, does it appear curious? Does it appear aggressive? Um, she's very food motivated, so we know what to look for. Uh, is she calm? Um, so we look at all that and we have to start thinking about what we're seeing and kind of interpret that. Uh, moving to the valley is the first step in starting to train them to be lions. And as uh, they get a little older, as they get bigger, um, you will start seeing the keepers not interacting with them as much, not allowing that crawling upon them, and they will start um, moving away from that. One of the things we do now, they are starting to cut teeth and they have claws. So they are starting to inflict a little bit of injury when they're doing this and we're not lions, so we don't have that, the thick skin. So one of the things that we're doing now is we will displace that behavior with giving them a stuffed animal. Right now, just for the first time seeing mom, this big cat right across the hall, they, they don't really know what that is. And so they are taking some comfort in the, the, the folks that are feeding them and taking care of them every single day and night. Once we get them a little comfortable with the dens, the next phase is to getting them some time for those that come to the zoo and are, are uh, accustomed to seeing the courtyard, mostly where baboons are. There will be some, some times when they will be there for our guests. We will let that be known when we have it, but right now we're just working out the, the kinks of getting them down there, getting them accustomed to that, getting our keeper staff into a routine of what's going to work best for the baboons, the lions, and the cubs, and the keepers all. We're just so proud of, uh, of them, but also of the care team, and all of the 24-hour care that they are putting into these, um, into these cubs. They're cute. Yeah, they're cute, you know. Um, no denying that. 